Hello everyone, this is Adnan with Can of Training Videos. This is a new video series for in regards to uh, the book uh, Administrating Windows Server 2012 R2. This is for the exam prep of 70-411. Uh, this is second video series uh, for Microsoft uh, um, uh, in regards to Microsoft Trainings. Uh, there is another video series. I'm going to post a link in comments in the video description for 410, 70-410 exam. So in this lab, we have uh, two servers, eGreen Server 01, eGreen Server 02, and one client, which is Windows 7. This is the IP addressing we'll be using. So if you're following my videos from 70-410, you already are familiar with this uh, video, uh, with this uh, with, with this architecture. Uh, so it's like this. Uh, on my server one, I have ADDS, DNS, DHCP, WDS. This is all from 4.10. I'm using the same servers. <coughs> and uh, I have second server, which is a second DC as well. It also has a DNS role in it. And this is our one client. And in this video, it's chapter one, and I'm going to show you how to install, configure WSUS services. So getting, uh, let's get started with this. So I have server one, server two, and server three. WSUS services, uh, WSUS role is used uh, to automatically update, uh, uh, automatically run Windows update within uh, Microsoft environment. Uh, WSUS is a role. In order to install the role, all you need to do is uh, add roles and features. And then you go into so I'll be installing it on my first server. It can be installed in, on the second server as well. But in my case, I'm going to install it on first server. As I know, WSUS role doesn't exist here. And I'm going to move, go next and next. And right at the bottom, I can find WSUS role. It will ask me to install some features. I'm going to add those features here. And then right here, it's asking me, it's telling me it's WSUS. Windows Server Update Services. Now at this point, I would highly recommend that take a snapshot of your server. As, uh, as I already have a snapshot, I can always revert back to this one. But if you don't, you should take a snapshot at this point. Because WSUS sometimes uh, uh, installation configuration gets corrupted or crashed in the middle. And then if you don't have a snapshot, you might have to recreate the complete environment. So I do have a snapshot. I would highly recommend take a snapshot at this point. So I'm adding the role, and uh, we started adding the role. Next, next, nothing special selected here. Now it's saying here that it needs uh, uh, that it's the WSUS service, but now it gives me two choices. Should I be using the Windows internal database, WID? Or should I be using an external database? As you can see, any one of these two databases can be selected. So if I uncheck this, I can select this one. <coughs> or if I uncheck this one, I can select this one. This is a free database, Windows internal database. And if you're using, if uh, WSUS might be using a huge number of computers, then in that case, you can use a database, a professional database like, uh, uh, like SQL or Oracle. And then you'll have to point to that external database. In our lab, we're going to be using just Windows internal database with WSUS services. And next, <clears throat> here this is a path where it's going to save all the updates, store all of the updates that it's going to be downloading from the Microsoft, uh, Microsoft, uh, uh, Microsoft update servers. So what I'll do is I'll just say store it inside WSUS. So what it's going to do is there is no folder called WSUS on C drive, which it doesn't. Uh, it will create a folder in C drive here. Uh, the ideal the ideal would be that if we can go add a separate disk to the server and then store all of the drives uh, in a separate disk, that is ideal. So let's do this. Why? Because we don't put anything on system drive and C is a system drive. So I'm going to add another disk. I would say that you should do the same. And a second disk. It's 60 GBs. And it's added. 
Now this disk is the the disk is the the disk that is added is raw disk. So we need to format the disk. I'm going to leave the screen here for a bit, and I'll open. I'll go back to server manager. Actually, I can't do anything on server manager, so I might have to cancel this. I'll go to file and storage services. I need to prepare the disk. I'll go to this and I should see my new offline disk here. I'll just bring online and and create a new volume. And here once the new volume will be created, it will be 60. It's asking me for the drive ladder and then the volume name. So I'm gonna say that this is my <coughs> WSUS drive just to know what type of drive is this and then create. Once it is done, I'm going to go back to the dashboard, add the role, <coughs> I type at the bottom, select again, next, and next, and next, select the same internal database. And here, this time, I'm going to point it to E drive because now I do have E drive, and there will be it will automatically create this folder. And next, so here, whatever is selected for IAS, we'll let it be. And next, and then I'm going to select restart if in case it needs a restart, and start the installation. So while it is being installed, while it is being installed, let's talk about WSUS. WSUS is a service that is used to update uh, update Microsoft servers through Microsoft uh, through Microsoft Update Services. Uh, now most of the time, these servers, these clients, they are being updated directly from the from Microsoft. But in a corporate environment, it is better to use WSUS for uh, so to download all the updates in WSUS server, and from WSUS server, it will be uh, downloaded to all of the existing servers and clients. So main purpose of WSUS is automatically deploy Windows updates, uh, Windows updates on all Microsoft uh, Microsoft related computers. So what I'm going to do while this finishes, I'm going to pause the screen. And I'll come back as soon as it, it finishes. So it just took a few moments and it stopped here. And all I need to do now is start this launch post installation task. At this point, I would also recommend adding another network card for being a bridge connection because because uh, on this server, WSUS is going to need internet. So I have added a network card, but I'm going to show you how you should add a network card. So on the same server, you go to settings. And within settings, just add another adopter, which is this one. So I've already added one adopter. I'm going just to show you. Just click add, select network, and then select bridged. Now once you select bridged in here, this machine will be able to connect to internet. So here, and once the adopter is added, all you need to do is all you need to do is just make sure internet is working and how do you make sure just go to the start screen open internet explorer and see if internet is working i'm going to try and do something so internet is working on this machine just make sure internet is working now going back to wsus you you must run this post installation task here it is about to run the task. Now this is a server-side WSUS setting. While you're doing server-side WSUS setting, we, uh, we also need to set up these clients to receive updates from WSUS server instead of going to internet. Now while this is going on, uh, it will take a few moments before it starts the other a wizard, I can go to the client machine and I can show you where this client is getting the updates from. So let me log in on the client. So once you're logged in, uh, currently 
uh, by default, all Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows uh, 10, they, these, they take updates from Internet. And how do they take updates from Internet? They do take updates from Internet by going here. So you go to all programs and go to Windows Update. It will show you where is it getting updates from. So it should, it is supposed to take updates from Internet. Let me, uh, so there is no network card for now. We need to configure this machine to get updates from uh, this server instead of going to Internet. Now for that, all we need to do, it is still wearing. All we need to do, we need to go into uh, Group Policy Management. So here, configuration completed successfully. So I'm going to go back to group policy later on. For now, configuration completed successfully. I'm going to close this. As soon as it is closed, if I look at it here, uh, it says add roles and features. Let's do this. Okay, so this one is completed properly. So this is done. It is fine. Now, before going on to the third step, uh, to configure WSUS, I need to configure a group policy to direct all of the updates to this server from this client. Um, so what we can do is we can go to Tools, and we can go to GPM. Um, since it is a domain controller, on a domain controller you would find a GPM. So once GPM opens, it's right here. Just go down, and on your default, the main policy here. We can create a new policy right at this point. I can right click here saying create a GPO link to domain and I'm going to call this uh, WSUS. As soon as you do, and then what we can do is we can right click here, edit, and then we'll go into basically, uh, sorry, policies, administrative tools going into Windows components, then going into, going down to here, call Windows Update, right here. And here's two policies we need to update. So one is configure automatic updates, and that should be enabled. We'll leave it as is. It should be enabled. It should get automatic updates, number one. Specify intranet location. Now, if this is not configured. Now, since it is not configured, all machines will automatically go to internet. Now we're saying no, get updates from, uh, get updates from WSUS server. So here all you need to do is just type HTTP and type here the full name of your server, WSUS server. So here in our case, the server name is SRV and you need to write fully qualified domain name, which is the full name of the machine. Let's confirm that one time. And how do you confirm? Right click on computers. Go here, and this is the fully qualified EB in SRV01. And this is so it should be SRV01. It should be exactly this. And it should work with a port number 8530. And then all you need to do is copy it here. So this is what you need to write. And then, okay, and the third one is, there is one more, allow non-administrator uh, non to receive policies, just enable these three things. So you we enable three settings, we'll close this. Once this is closed, we can see the settings here, it is applied to the complete domain. Now, on a client machine, all you need to do is go and run the group policy. Here, where I'm gonna go to CMD, on a client machine, go to open CMD and run the command GP update slash force, although you don't need force, but I'm gonna just use the force uh, parameter force, force parameter. So here, I uh, could not be updated, falling error in code processing. Now sometimes this is due to this is due to server machine not properly need the restart or not properly logged in. I'm gonna just restart this machine once. Now while this is restarting, our group policy thing uh, task is over. Now we need to configure WSUS. In order to configure WSUS, you can go to tools 
and go down to uh, go down to right here this windows update services as soon as you open windows update services it should start another wizard it should start another wizard let me check that out here yes right here and it will ask me what type of updates are required so here all we need to do is select here and say sync so it should be now synchronizing at the moment now if your internet is proper if your internet is connected this machine and your updates are set up then this sync Sync will start and this sync might take longer time. It sometimes it takes one hour, two hours, sometimes it's four hours, depending on how how big of a catalog it needs to download. But the most important thing is that it should start. It should start here. So I'm, I'm gonna leave this here and I'm gonna jump to options. Now within options we can select a lot of things here. For example, what do you want to download? So here uh, we can go to products if there are any products. So in this case, the products that are selected are office products. I'm gonna. I don't need office products here, and I don't need all these because I don't have these many products. But what I do need is I don't need 2000. And I need only Windows 7. And here I don't have Windows 7. So, you know, I'll have to reconfigure this. I'll have to rerun the video for now. I'll just select these so that it can down start downloading something here. So, cancel this out. And yes, uh, we needed this with us. Uh, actually, when I was testing before recording the video, I run. I, I already run that wizard, so that's why I didn't. But when you're installing it for the first time, it will run this wizard to start with, this wizard. So you need to go to next. And then here, do you want to improve the program? For now, we don't need to do this. Next. And here, we'll go next here. It's saying sync with Microsoft Update. So WSUS get all the updates from Microsoft. Next. And here, it should, it should start connecting. So it has started connecting. Uh, stop connecting to configure the WSUS service. Yes. And sometimes this screen will take longer time as well. Uh, for example, if I stop it, so since I've already ran this, maybe for that reason it might not be running at the moment. Uh, but here it will it will try to it will try to connect to the uh, Microsoft update server and make sure that up if your WSUS server is able to reach update server. I go back and go here and start connecting. So it is trying to connect. So as you can see, it it was nothing was happening. I just went back and tried. So you need to try these all options uh, in order to in order for a to to sometime it just hangs on a screen and won't go anywhere. So you would go back and hit and trial different options. So here it might take longer time. It take it took uh, as long as 15 minutes, 20 minutes. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pause the video here, and then let it complete. Once it completes, then I'm gonna come back. Okay, so it just finished. It took around, uh, I think, around one hour. Uh, to finish this for connection and as soon as it is finished now it's now WSUS starts its setup so I would say at the previous step just have patience let it complete uh, for uh, some time it takes two three hours as well uh, now here it's saying the download languages uh, what languages would you need to download here we can say reduce uh, we'll select download updates only these languages otherwise it would download all languages we don't need all languages we just need english language and next uh here i would say it is asking which products do you want to download the updates for 
uh, in this case, I would say because it, it, it has randomly selected some products here, what we do is we can select once and then deselect once. It would uncheck everything that was randomly selected. And we come down and we are only interested in Windows 7 and Server 2012 at the moment. These are all Microsoft products for which Microsoft can, WSUS can provide updates for. So we have uh, Server 2012 here. Uh, to be updated and also we have Windows 7 so Windows 7 should be here right here Windows 7 so next and here which type of updates do you need critical updates definition drivers security updates we'll just select as is uh, mostly we are interested in critical updates only but uh, we'll just let it select now the more you select the longer it takes to download the updates and it will use a lot of bandwidth. Next, sync now. Now this this part is uh, that should it should WSUS sync with Microsoft Server now, or should it automatically uh, do the syncing? Should it automatically download all the updates at this uh, at this time every day? So per day one time. So here we're going to say just sync manually here. But in real environment, we would automatically let it sync maybe uh, midnight or at times where uh, where uh, off peak hours, uh, where many users are not using the internet. So here begin sync. So at this point, it can start begin syncing as soon as this wizard is finished. So now it is all done. Now, once it is all done, after that we'll create, if you need SSL, SSL is securing the web page, but we don't need SSL at the moment in here in test environment. SSL simply means secure socket layer. This will secure the communication between WSUS server and Microsoft server. We don't need it. And after that, we are going to create computer groups. We assign computer groups using group policies. Uh, just before we, when we configured the group policies, we already did, um, we already did step number three. Uh, computers will be automatically assigned to computers in the group and configure auto approval. We can configure auto approval at the end. We can go from here as well directly uh, if you need any help with this, but uh, we'll do it right after this. So once this is all done, now another major part starts. So we start from here. Now, when you're installing first time WSUS, you don't need to go in option and in this at this place. Uh, what happens is right after WSUS installation, this wizard automatically starts. So I'm gonna go here in updates and I'll go here in all updates. And actually here, I can see there are updates with no status. I can go to here and now uh, the updates should be, it should be syncing. As you can see now it is 14%. It will download more and more. It is downloading. So as soon as it is 100% done, it is downloading all the updates uh, based on the wizard settings that we selected. So we'll let it sync all. We'll let it sync all. Uh, we'll go back to, we'll, we'll at, the, at the moment, I'll, I'll show you the group policy one more time. And since, remember this port we set up, 8530, this is the port on which the client would connect to WSUS server. So let's go to group policy one more time while this is being synced. This is being synced. We'll go to tools and right here at the bottom, uh, no, uh, not at the bottom, we need to go to group policy management. And within group policy management, but I'm interested in setting up a group policy for a computer uh, to automatically enroll itself in WSUS. And that we did earlier, I just wanted to confirm the port number, 8530, that is used with this. So here, sometimes GPM doesn't open, it does just comes here on the taskbar. This is the policy we created. Actually, we can edit the policy and check the policies or we can also, now it's being a bit slow because it's downloading the updates from internet. Now to, for this step to happen, we already discussed that 
for this step to open, it should be it should be thinking all the time. So here, what we did, we go to policy, the administrative template. Let's see why is it slow. Hmm, it's the uh, CPU 100% because it's downloading all of the updates. Uh, that's fine. Uh, we can, as soon as this opens, we go to computer components and right here down at the bottom it says Windows Update. These are all Windows Update related settings. So we, we selected three settings here. Specify uh, automatic updates and they specify intranet, intranet Microsoft Update location and here this is our, this is our WSUS server and the port is 8035. With this policy, computer can enroll into computer, uh, computer groups. So I'm going to come back here. While this is being downloaded, this is the place where computers are. So now within the computer, if the policy is running, then we should be able to see computers here. Computers here, we can see the computers here. Um, now let's, for now, it's, it has nothing. Let's go to client computer and log into a compliant client computer. And since it is a computer policy, for a computer policy to work, computer must be restarted or we can run GP update. So I'm going to open CMD and run here uh, GP update. As soon as you do, GP update will run. GP update should run. Now here is the, oh, the main control was successful. It's giving me some error messages, but let's see. Uh, let's run GP update because we are concerned with our policy. If our policy was run, so GP result slash R, it shows us the report of which policies were run on this. So here, user setting. This is computer settings, and here default domain policy was run, but but that other policy was not is not running. Let's check our uh, server here because there might be an issue with the client. We'll go to server. We'll open CMD here and run GP update. The policy failed, the following error occurred, not authenticate to the active directory service, the main controller. Okay, let's run another dash H. Doesn't matter. Um, doesn't matter for this. Okay, it's strange. It's not running, but anyhow, we don't need this. Um, and what we need to do is, uh, I think we need to restart our DC because the DC has not been restarted after when we installed and config configured. Uh, actually, the sync is running here. I go here. Thirty-two percent is fine. Uh, sync can continue for now. In order to fix this, I'll just restart the DC. And so these are virtual machine, and uh, we don't. Uh, I normally pause these machines, but maybe these machines need a restart. 
because through policy is not able to run on these machines properly. We did just restarted this machine, but let's restart a complete environment. And I'm gonna pause this video here and then I'll come back. Okay, server got restarted, and let's check if the group policies can run now. Mm. So here I'm going to say GP update. If we still get the GP update error message, it, it means that uh, the group policy is still not running. So then the next, okay, it's not working. Now it could be due to name resolution. It could be due to... Uh, file replication service. Uh, now, there could be few reasons why this, and, and the only policy that is not running is the policy that we created for WSUS, so we'll recreate that policy one more time. So here, I'm gonna come back to group policy. Uh, I've deleted the policy that we created. I'm, I'm gonna recreate a policy one more time. So I'm gonna create a policy here. But since I deleted the policy, since I deleted the policy, what I can do is I can just refresh the policy here. And it's given me this error message user policy cannot be updated successfully. Um, the following error encountered. You might not be having these group policy issues. It is uh, maybe just my machine. So I'm gonna just, before I recreate the policy, I'm gonna unjoin this machine one time. Unjoining means I'm gonna just change from domain to work group and rejoin it. We'll restart one. Second server is still being started. And here, let's recreate that policy one more time. So new, and uh, we'll name it WSUS new pairing. And we'll set up the, we'll do the settings here, editing policy secret. So we're, we're doing the same thing we did earlier to make that group policy. Go down to Windows settings, Windows updates, and here we're gonna select three policies. Automatically deploy, number one. And secondly, intranet location. Enable, we need to provide intranet location and that will be location for green SRV01. This is my server name. Make sure the server name is correct. Should be FQDN. Mm, and 85. 30. Copy this and paste it here. And we're done with this. And one more setting, we need to enable this setting. So once these settings are done, we'll link it to the domain.
spiders link to the domain now and let's run gp update first of all on this Okay, on this server it's done properly and uh, let's go to here and go to computer go to computers all computers change to all computers and any so here i can see server number one so as soon as the group policy runs the computer will appear here now it should be the same with these other computers the only thing is I'm, i need to rejoin it one more time I don't need to do this at the moment. First, I need to join it. Uh, so I'll go to change settings and join it to Active Directory. Change. And this is ecreen.vri. It'll ask me for username and password. Now, why are we rejoining it? We're rejoining it just to make sure name resolution and all the things that was mentioned in the error message are correct. So if it is able to join properly, everything is correct. It might be just, uh, just maybe a group policy glitch. And uh, if the group policy runs properly, it gave me that error. Okay, so it might be just a wrong username and password. Administrator and my password is one one. Yes, I think I typed the wrong password. And once this is all done, it should restart. So, yes, it is joined. And okay, and close. And now we can restart now. So, it is being restarted. And the second server that's Log into the second server as well. Now, what happens is when the policy runs on both of them, they should appear here. You can change to any and here. And after that, all you need to do is go to the updates. You need to go to all updates, or let's say critical updates. And you can approve the updates, so the updates should be sent here. Now, at the same time, let me go into here and open Windows Update. So I'm going to open Windows. Update so you won't you might not see windows update here. You can just select sharing and you will be able to see it Actually, no, this is this is not what we are looking for. I'm looking for just windows update. So I'm looking for windows updates in settings and In settings, I'm looking for view update history So install optional updates see which automatically start with the window I'm looking for view update history. So basically, I need to go onto this screen. So this is saying you're set up automatically to download updates. So here, for now, it says no updates are available. But now let's see what happens when I do it from WSUS. So this is I'm in WSUS, and this is the update. All we need to do is go to critical updates, and here, change this to any updates and here change this to any as well and you would see many updates are here now select windows 2000 update this update and let's approve it as soon as you approve it it would say which computer we would say install on all computers and install on all computer and okay so it is and as soon as it is done you should be able to see that update the two updates are assigned to which computer to that computer 
uh, that one computer and here if we come here um, you can refresh check online basically now it is going on to WFUF it's not going to it's not going to uh, it's not going to so here install now. It's not going to internet, and actually it's not going to internet. Sometimes update itself, update to continue. So here install now. It should be continuing and and as soon as you bring more and more updates from here. So let's say uh, it's going on. Let's say if I need to look for all. 2012 updates here. So 2007, uh, these are all 2012 updates. Let's select few updates. And approve. Approve for who? Approve for all computers. And as soon as you do, it is being approving these updates, and you will see that right here. So these are all approved, and it is going on to right here. It will show you the update history. So this is the one update that is just installed now. This is one, and you will see more updates there, installed updates. And here, these are all of the updates that are just sent from WSUF. So guys, this is how we install, configure, and download these updates. I I I try to include uh, I try to include troubleshooting stuff that makes the video a bit longer, but it's good that you might face these issues. Uh, basically, what we needed to do was uh, set up WSUF and configure the clients to get the updates. Uh, if you have any question, you can write the questions down below in comments and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, one last thing left from the last video for WSUS and that was to check uh, and that was to check that if, uh, if uh, our client machine that we unjoined and rejoined for the GPO issue was fixed or not. So the machine came back. It was restarted after joining. And now let's see to run how to uh, just to see the go policy if it is working. So I'm going to open command prompt and, uh, and then run GP update. As soon as I run GP update, I run GP update. It's running. Last time there was an error message. Ah. Now it's working fine. User policy update. So the way we troubleshooted that, unjoin and rejoin the machine. Now, if the new policy is working, just to make sure if our WSUS policy ran on it. So let's go. Press R. And here, if we go up, it can go down here. So this is the command where I ran. Uh, sorry, GP result. And here, right under computer setting, yes. So now it's showing. WSUS running. Now, based on this policy already ran on this, this computer should automatically appear under computer groups within WSUS. Let's confirm that. Here on WSUS on server one, sync is complete now. It has downloaded 1,353 security updates and critical is 136. And let's go into all computers. All computers, yes. Now we have the client machine ready. And here, as you can see, this is the server ready. It is 92% compliant installed, but here this machine is newly added because of that policy. And uh, and now let's push some updates on it. But before pushing, let's open Windows Update from here and see what is the status. So Windows Update seeing it is always installed. Now this, uh, based on group policy, this will go. This should go to. Uh, this should go to the. This should go to WSUS server instead of internet. In history, we don't see any updates here. Uh, go back here, check for updates. Let's see. And uh, it shouldn't. It should error out because it can't go to internet. There is no internet on this. And plus, it can be. So there are no updates. 
let's go into WSUS and approve some updates. So updates, all you need to do to see all of the updates for go to any and refresh. And as soon as you refresh, let's see some Windows 7 updates here. So these are all Windows 7 updates, 64 bit. Let's select some updates to be approved. And it is approved for all the computers. And OK. Now it is approving those updates added. And as soon as they do, let's go back to Time Machine and now look for updates. So now it's uh, querying. Uh, the WSUS server. Go to WSUS server. There is a command for this as well. I noted it. The command is WAUA. So AUA detect now. So we can run here a command called. It already okay. It's it couldn't find it. Yes, CL or CLT. Let's see. It is W A U L T detect now. Detect now. It's giving me this uh, copy error. Uh, now this is evaluation copy, so this doesn't matter. In order to fix this, all we need to do is. Call it again. Let's do it again. So I think this is this is bugging. Uh, this is actually stopping it from getting the update. Um, but but updates should be working now. Updates should be definitely working now. What I'll do is in the next video I'm going to install another Windows 7, new Windows 7, and uh, evaluation version for training purposes, and we'll try it. But now WSUS is properly configured and it is working.